What's up guys, Natal Nick here and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. In the last episode, we went to uh, Turtle Rock and we beat the boss in that area. And by doing so, we got the 8th and final instrument to wake the windfish. And uh, we went up to the windfish egg, basically woke him up, and now we're inside the windfish egg. And we're going to be fighting the final boss. So yeah, this is the finale. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump down and fight this final boss. Alright, we are born of nightmares to take over this world. We made the windfish sleep endlessly. If the windfish doesn't wake up, this island will never disappear. We would have been the masters of this place, but you had to come here and disrupt our plans. Hehe. <laughs> you can never defeat us. Let's rumble. Alright, so I don't know the name of this guy, but I'm just gonna name him Nightmare, because that's basically what he is. It might actually be his name, but I don't really know. Anyway, he's gonna shapeshift to a bunch of different forms. Right here is this little glob that you can only hurt with magic. And then he'll change into something else. Okay, so he's changing into this like wizard guy. Which I think is supposed to be the guy from uh, Link to the Past. But this guy is much easier because it's only a phase of the... Uh, final boss he doesn't like oh wow okay he does I was gonna say he doesn't change his uh balls of light but he actually does that was actually surprising I was gonna say he doesn't change his balls of light unlike the real uh, wizard and the link to the past I don't know the name of the wizard I kind of forget but uh yeah, I never really got that reference, like, I didn't know where he was from, because, like, you see right here, this guy is from, uh, I think it was our first boss fight, and, uh, like, I think the first guy was also a boss, I kind of forget, though, but, um, and then you have that guy, but he was never a boss. I never got that because this was like my first Zelda game that I owned. Because I had a uh, Skyward Sword, I think was my first Zelda game that I played. And then, um, I bought, uh, Link to the Past on the eShop. Alright, so right here he's gonna turn it again. The only way to hit him is by, uh, Pegasus booting. Now, I guess I never got this one either because this is. Ganon's not in uh, this game. This is the closest to Ganon. But, uh, this is his form and link to the past. Because he doesn't do that in the original Zelda, he does that in Link to the Past. Alright, so now it looks like he's dead, but we're actually entering his final phase, or his true form, I guess. Because before he was just shape-shifting, but now it's actually a true form. So he's going to transform into this dark, shadowy figure. Alright, so basically what you have to do is just jump over his arms and then, uh, hit the eye. It's not really that hard, especially for the final boss, but it's kind of annoying, I guess. I mean, his arms do do a harder damage each time you get hit, so it is kind of hard. But good thing I have, uh, got, I bought magic powder, uh, off screen, so that's good. So I think we can beat him. Hopefully. There we go. 
This island is going to dis appear. Our world is going to disappear. Our world. Our world. <laughs> and imagine like he starts singing his world from uh, Sonic 06. Uh, Link, you have beaten all the nightmares. Climb the stairs before you. Wow, okay, this is, this is like the first time. That, those are not stairs. Are you kidding me? Like, is this a trap or something? Because, like, throughout the game, you see stairs, and they're like staircases. Like, they're going, like, horizontally, but this is actually going up. And even if it was, it's like a spiral staircase. So this is more like a bridge. It's not stairs. Like, this is the first time you're ever seeing this. Like, the background looks like freaking Kirby. And there's the owl. Hoot, young lad, I mean Link, the hero. You have defeated the nightmares. You have proven your wisdom, courage, and power. As part of the Windfish's spirit, I am the guardian of his dream world. But one day, the nightmares entered the dream and began wrecking havoc. Then you, Link, came to rescue the island. I have always trusted in your courage to turn back the nightmares. Thank you, Link. My work is done. The windfish will wake soon. Goodbye, Hoot. So, like, I feel like the message of this is that, like, Link's growing up, and that, like, He's changing, like the like the island's supposed to represent like his childhood and stuff. I think I don't really know. All right, I am the windfish. Long has been my slumber. In my dreams, an egg appeared and was surrounded by an island with people, animals, and entire world. But verily, it be nature. Of dreams to end when I dosed awaken colon will be gone only the memory of this dream land will exist in the awakening world someday thou may recall this island that memory must be the real dream world come link let us awaken together Play the eight instruments. Play the song of awakening. Alright, so he's gonna play the instruments again. And now we're gonna see the entire island just disappear. So there's the beach. Now it's gone. There's the woods. And now it's kind of, and like Marin has a or I forget his name had a mushroom showing more that he's Mario. And there's the entire the, the entire island, and it's disappeared. And now Link's getting shot up. I'm guessing by the windfish, like that's the windfish's uh spout or whatever. And now just staring at the sun. And Link realizes that he was just dreaming the entire thing. surprised like he didn't like die or something like die of like I mean I guess it's not that long this game was like what a good 10 hours maybe maybe less and then there's the windfish 
So I don't really get that. Like, is that supposed to resemble that, like, maybe it wasn't just a dream? Because you see the windfish in the sun. But, like, I don't get it. Like, is he swimming through the sky? Is it, like, one of those, like, whales that are in the sky, like Skyward Sword? Or if it's just, like, a dream? Now, credits. So yeah, I think this game was made before uh, Ocarina of Time. It just said 1998. But, uh, I think that's the DX version. So, the original Game Boy version was, I think, made before then. But I could be wrong about that. Still is, like, probably one of my favorite uh, Game Boy games of all time. That and, uh, Metroid 2. Like, there really aren't many good Game Boy games, but... This and, uh... Metroid 2, I just love. I mean, especially because it's, like... The Game Boy is one of the worst, like... Looking, uh... Video game. You know, because, like, you have... Okay, so yeah, it was made in 1993, that's, uh, not the DX staff, okay. So it was made before, Ocarina of Time, but yeah, as I was saying, though, uh, I forget what I was saying, uh, what was I saying? Alright, well, I already forgot. Alright, well, I forgot what I was saying. Um. But yeah, it is a great game. I really do like it. It's probably definitely up there with, uh. Probably, maybe. Top 50 games? I don't know. I mean, I play a lot of games, but. I might actually go to, uh, do, like, a top 100 video game list, because I have played a bunch of games, but doing that list would probably be really hard because of how many games I've played. But yeah, I remember what I was saying. I was saying about Game Boy games and how, like, the, N the NES, like, it had all colors and I feel like it was more powerful than the Game Boy, but then here on the Game Boy, like... It's a lot more impressive that games can be just as good, just like how like Zelda 1 is actually, I think the graphics are actually better on the Game Boy than on the NES, but I mean the NES had color though, but yeah like I said, I mean having it on the go and everything and on the Game Boy, like, that's pretty impressive to do that. And I might actually do a Let's Play of, a uh, Metroid 2, or maybe another Metroid 2 remake, because I absolutely love Metroid 2, and I feel like it should be, like, more popular and stuff. But anyway, that is Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you have any Let's Play suggestions. But um, until then, stay tuned for other things gaming right here on Town Nick. Bye.